welcome back to a brand new video. Hey, we're back at the new build, Jobby. Look at this. The boys have fucking smashed it. Holy shit, we've got the nets going in. <laughs> this week's video, or today's video, is going to be all about these freaking trusses. It's been a fucking minute, eh, hey, Miles? It's been a while. Fuck. It's been a while, bro. So we're, we're going to be fucking pretty much learning the learning from scratch so <laughs> hope you guys enjoy it's about four o'clock now so we're just going to get the delivery on first thing we sort of do is we sort of look at the truss plan and we figure out what trusses are loaded on top and we want to sort of position them in such a way that it's going to be easy to unload for us so we're not trying to shuffle um, shuffle our trusses backwards and forwards and round and round and i mean it's not going to be perfect but we'll try our best to we'll try our best to situate them so that's what we've done we've got the truss plan we've sort of looked at the trusses on there and we're going to place the packs in positions where it's going to be easy, us for, for easy, easy enough for us to handle so we'll cut to a bit of a time lapse i guess maybe a bit of a drone shot and we will um, we'll probably see in the morning Thing. How are we meant to read that with our eyes? <laughs> um, so first things first, we need to sort of figure out what trusses we want to put up first, I guess. Um, and I think we're going to hit the biggest ones first, um, and that way we can build off those. So we've got a bunch of these things called girder trusses. I don't know if you can see, um, but on the plan we've got all these red ones that sort of flow through and around. And once we get those set up, most of the trusses actually butt into that. Um, so this is this pack here, and we set it up in such a way that there's this big square one here, which the rest of then, rest of these trusses actually butt into. So I think we're going to hit this one first. Square truss. That's random. Um, but yeah, we'll go through, set this one up, and then we'll start laying out. Um, I guess we need to figure out layout first too, eh? Would help. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll go and measure where these go, and then we'll start setting them up, and I think we just start playing around with them and make sure that we've got them in the right position and stuff. Like I said, it's been a fucking hot minute, so um, we'll try and um, explain as we go, I guess. Let's be. Sweet. So we need to get the measurement for this truss here. So pretty much that's this double coming through right here 3110 okay okay 1940 so it will be uh 92 meters 30 2 meters 30 <laughs> yeah i got you Oh, we're going to need a level and everything. How are you with yours? Come over to me. 30. Okay. Well, I'm flush there. What's that? Same with you. Huh? Oh. up but my freaking mic dropped um, so we've obviously got these trusses in our way where we wanted to stand these ones up and pull them along like this um, but we've obviously got these ones in our way so we're gonna try and get these ones set up um, along here and hopefully they sit on this wall which I'm pretty sure they will first few trusses stood so now we've got to move this pack in order to, for us to get our, our big trusses all the way through. And then what we're going to do is suck a fucking gussie pussy. Sweet, so just had a bit of smoko. You can see we're sort of getting our um, trusses up and together. We've got our big ones in, which is something we wanted to do first, but um, that's okay, we freaking sort of smashed it. Our roof line's looking pretty good, besides this one's slow a little bit for some reason. 
but we can easily adjust that once we get them up. So now we're going to come start in this corner over here, and we're going to start creating our hip, um, and then see what our roof line looks like. So our roof line comes along like this, and it comes along like that, and we want to try and plane them out in the center. So we're just going to go through, and we're just going to stick them in, and then once we've got them in place, we'll probably end up sticking our, um, our hip board all the way down the center. You can sort of see a gap, a hip board. <laughs> Uh, I guess a hip rafter or uh, something like that. Excuse my terminology, it's been a minute. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna mark these out uh, and then get them in. Yeah. <laughs> wow, well, I just got used to all my, my muscles. Next little mission is this little side quest. Um, this is a little bit complicated. We've got a couple of valleys that come in through here. So we're gonna try and hit this today while I'm here and, and get things. Um, 3647. But yeah, so we're just trying to get a parallel mark for our first truss through here. It comes over this way. So we've just got a Fabian leveling up, coming through. And maybe we'll just actually start from this wall and come back, but we don't actually have that over here. Um, that will stop short, so I think it's best to start from the outside and work in, um, in this case. So let's just set this up, we'll brace it up and we'll go from there. Like I said, <laughs> we're still just trying to figure it out. It's starting to make sense now, but another little trick that we do is to make sure that we've got our like trusses in somewhat the right position as we use our eye and we sort of plane down all the trusses in a line and if they all sort of line up at the exact same time, you know we're doing something right. So these ones look really, really good. There might be one that's like two or three mil low, but that's not a massive issue. To be What's two to three mil between friends? One to one and a half mil. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I'm getting old, eh? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm going to pretty much wrap the video up here. We cut from standing the trusses to the roof framing complete. <laughs> oh, it's been a hot minute, but um, we just passed framing inspection yesterday. Miles and the boys have actually cranked it out. See our valleys through here, where two roof planes meet? Our hips through there. And then we don't have one on this one, but you can see in the background over there, that's a gable end. So this is a valley and that's a hip. Nice. But we smash it out, the roof's going on tomorrow. You can see that we've um, got single purlins here running down the down the hip. Um, and that's because, wow, you can see we've got doubles here and singles here. Now, we made allowances for a 150X up, um, which I'm usually used to, but the roofer came along, measured the roof, and said that we need a 200X up. That's probably giving him more allowance because each sheet is actually cut um, specifically. There's no ridge or anything, so um, yeah, we just ended up, because we had a 150 here, we just cut the purlins back along here and put a new one in, um, but it's all looking good, hopefully. We'll try and keep you up to date on what's happening next, it's going to be a big cavity wrap and stuff like that, so stay tuned and hope you enjoyed this one, sorry being a bit distance on the fucking videos, but it works been fucking hard out, so. Peace!